The moment I saw the brilliant, proud morning sun shine high up over the deserts of Santa Fe, something stood still in my soul, and I started to attend. Lawrence wrote that this was the greatest experience from the outside world that I have ever had. Much of his time between 1922 and 1925 was spent in or near the little town of Taos. He didn't die there, but his ashes are in the mountains there. And there he's remembered, first as a man, then as a writer. When he came to America in the first place, in response to an invitation from Mabel Dodge Lujan, who was a patroness of the arts of Sartre, who ended up in Taos after a very vivid career in New York and Florence. And she had read Lawrence's Sea in Sardinia and thought that he was the proper person to write about New Mexico. She, she loved the country of New Mexico very much. As a matter of fact, I think she came there to teach the Indians their old handicrafts. And this, this was her point of entry into the Taos place. And she, was sort of a member of this International Colony of Artists and things. Since the turn of the century, Taos had become a haven for artists. The Santa Fe Railroad never came here, so it never grew very big. In Lawrence's time, as now, it had a mixed population of Spanish-American farmers, Pueblo Indians, and American artists and art collectors. In 1922, a rich, much-married American woman reigned over this mixed community. She offered Lawrence lodging, scenery, the Indians, and herself. Her name was Mabel Luhan. Mabel was a very warm, perceptive woman. She had gone through the gamut of, uh, of life in the United States in the Metropolitan Center. She had uh, uh, been in all through Europe, and she was fed up with the, uh, the values of this uh, extroverted uh, uh, materialism of the Western world. Overlooked by the sacred mountain, the Indian reservation lies just outside Taos Township. Mabel acquired land right on the edge of the reservation and built a fine adobe house there. Here she was close to her beloved Indians and could initiate into their mysteries the painters and writers and actors for whom she kept open house. She filled her home with live doves and unalive cockerels, artifacts collected from the old world and the new. For a while, the Lawrences became part of this Mabletown collection and endured her patronage. <laughs> 